Hey, Monty, are you mad at me? No, Hannah, not at all. Because you kind of seem mad at me. I pay all the bills in this apartment. Does that not give me, like, one night off from talking about you and your problems? Okay. Wow. As it happens, I'm not always in the mood to talk about you. Okay. You know, I didn't even want to go into this, but you pushed me. Like, you push everyone about everything. I push everyone. Don't look at me like I just said something awful, because I really didn't. You think we only talk about my problems? Why would you think that? Because we do. <laughs> That's not true, Marnie. We only talk about your problems, and it's always been that way. Seriously, because you think, like, meeting a guy is the main point in life, so we have to have, like, a summit every day just to make a game plan. Okay, you just flip this around in, like, a really crazy way. I'm the one that has the right to be mad here, okay? Well, if you bring things up when they're actually happening, then we could avoid these overwrought conversations. Okay, then I don't want to talk about it anymore. Well, I do. Well, now I don't. Well, now I need closure, okay? You are so selfish. This is why you have no friends from preschool. <sighs> I have a lot of friends from preschool. I'm just not speaking with them right now. No, you judge everyone, yet you ask them not to judge you. That is because no one can hate me as much as I hate myself, okay? So any mean thing that someone's gonna think of to say about me, I've already said to me, about me, probably in the last half hour. That is bullshit. Because I could literally think of a million mean things that have never once occurred to you. Oh yeah? Like what? Well, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Honestly, money. You are so obsessed with success and who's who and what they have and how they got it. I like being around people who know what they want. People like you? Because what do you want besides a boyfriend with a luxury rental? Seriously, that's where your priorities are. You have always been that way and now you're worse. No, you are worse. I can't take you anymore. You think everyone in this world is out to humiliate you? You're like a big ugly fucking wound. Adam says that you're teetering on the edge of psychotic misery, but you're smiling so wide that no one can tell. You're the wound. I am not a wound. You are the wound. You are the wound. You are the wound. You are the wound. Stop saying that. I am not the wound. You are the wound. Seriously. You have been batshit crazy since Charlie broke up with you. Yeah? Well, you've been crazy since before I even met you. You've been crazy since middle school, when you had to masturbate eight times a night to stave off disease of the mind and body. Okay. That is my most shameful, painful and private secret. And it might sound like a joke to you, but it's not fucking funny to me, which is why I told you not to tell anyone. I didn't tell anyone that. I would never do that. I'm just telling you now I would never tell anyone that. I am a good fucking friend. Unlike you, you're a bad one. Well, that's not what's important to me right now. I don't give a shit about being a good friend. I have bigger concerns. You know what? Thank you. That is all I needed to hear. I'm done. What is that supposed to mean? I do not want to live here anymore. Not with you. Yeah, well, I don't want to live with you either. And I'm not just saying that because you had said it. I was thinking it, but I didn't want to say anything because I am a good friend. You're the bad friend. Fine. Great. Awesome. Very good.